Hello, my name is Christina and we are officially releasing our first paid polycosm tutorial and I'm so excited. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that didn't quite go according to plan, did it? Because I'd recorded that like one and a half years ago and that was intended to kind of be this like paid tutorial where I talk about my process from taking a 3D draft made in Blender and kind of rendering that and then my whole process of like painting over a 3D render. Um, but after I recorded that, I got buried under heaps of client work and I just didn't have time to do it and I felt really bad after a while and then it was just this vicious cycle um but yeah here I am one and a half years later and I've just decided to release it for free on YouTube so you might notice that the editing and maybe the audio uh, isn't quite consistent and up to par like typically what we've been releasing lately um, but I'm hoping it's still educational it will still be of value to you guys and that it's not too much of a distraction um, so yeah what is this tutorial about so I'm just gonna hand it excuse you Sorry. so I'm just gonna hand it over to past Christina and let her kind of explain that so yeah in this tutorial, I'll be taking you through the process of an actual commission piece by one of my clients and show you how I go about creating thumbnails through DAS models, which are completely free, and how I pose them in DAS Studio before importing them into Blender and blocking out some initial thumbnails using placeholder assets. When we're done with our thumbnail sheet and I've consulted with my client, we choose one thumbnail in particular and start developing that a bit further. We'll be taking the 3D draft through a few iterations, so first figuring out the general composition, mood, colors and lighting scheme. Then we start adding some more details such as a 3D base for our clothing, the hair, accessories and the paper. We then add another layer of detail, sculpt the ancient vault hatch using both Blender and 3D coat, and then finally finalize our 3D draft. In part two of this process, I'll go over how I paint over my 3D drafts in Photoshop, explaining my full paint over techniques, which brushes I use, of course, to get rid of that 3D effect, how I use photos in my work and paint over them to make them my own and how I bring the illustration to a full polish. Comparing the 3D draft and the 2D illustration as you see on screen, you'll see I've made a lot of changes and executive decisions, and I'll be explaining all of that in detail. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. So this is gonna be probably like a 10-ish part series. I'm still kind of editing things, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, enjoy.